Hey guys, uh, last little bit to go through here, and it does deal with uh, things moving through ecosystems. We're still talking about uh, we talk about matter can go through ecosystems, and energy can go through. And our, our last little thing deals with uh, something called pesticides, and those are just chemicals that are used to kill some kind of pest. And we're not talking about your classmate being a pest, but um, we're talking about uh, insects are things that get on crops and uh, so, and they can have different names too here you see that um, you know we may call uh, herbicide something to kill plant or insecticide to kill insects but they're all as a group um, something we call uh, pesticides and you know that's at first seemed like a great idea let's spray things on the crops and we don't have to worry about insects eating up the crops. So at first it seemed like a good thing, but uh, what happened is they found some problems that came along with that. And one of those problems is called biomagnification. And what happens is that these pesticides can often get into the food chain. And as they end up going up the food chain, uh, they get even stronger or we could say more concentrated. So a lot of times, as we said when we studied the water cycle, rain will come, wash chemicals into the water supply, and then that's where it can often get into the food chains. And so uh, there's a good example of this one, and you got a little uh, diagram here. And uh, what you can see is that yeah, these, these numbers here, they're talking about parts per million, how much of this chemical, and at the bottom of the food chain, it's not very strong. You can see it's 0 0.000003 parts per million. Um, that's, I guess, in the water. As we move up into the plankton, now you see it's a little bit stronger as far as parts per million and going up the food chain uh, you get up to the top it's 25 parts per million and so it's kind of a, a pyramid in the sense that it, it gets stronger as it goes up now uh, I want to show you this here is the normal energy pyramid and this here uh, the symbol kind of represents the pesticides so when they are spread out uh, amongst many plants or even in, in this next level insects if you get thousands of insects it's not as strong per insect but when you get up to the top of it because uh, all these animals get eaten towards the top you've only got four hawks so all these chemicals are much more concentrated towards the top than they were at the bottom so it's it's becoming magnified and since it's of course um, in living things they call that bio magnification um, so as chemicals move up the food chain uh, they become more concentrated now a uh, good example of this was a chemical called DDT and uh, <laughs> you can see the name here dichloro diethyl trichloroethane or something like that and uh, we'll just call it DDT obviously and this was one that ended up hurting the Eagles and they didn't know exactly what was harming the Eagles but they traced it back to this chemical that was being put on plants and it didn't really kill the adult Eagle but as they ate fish that had this chemical um, the concentration was enough that it hurt their eggs, made their eggshells uh, thinner, and they ended up breaking too soon, so their their young weren't surviving. And this was a, a real problem. We just about lost the eagle population. Now, since 1970, they've uh, quit using that, uh, especially in the United States, for sure. And now we have eagles back. Um, we have eagles in Scioto County. If you get out towards uh, Lucasville you can spot eagles there um, 
my in-laws house in Coshocton there's eagles that nest uh, pretty close to there so it's nice to see them and osprey is another type of bird this picture there is of the osprey so they also live near rivers and and eat on fish so there you have the uh, pictures of the osprey I've got a little uh, video clip on uh, the bald eagle. They just mentioned this pesticide, and, and so we'll roll this clip and let you see that. America's national symbol of strength, the bald eagle, became so fragile that its numbers slipped dangerously close to extinction. They were heavily impacted by human use of pesticides, which caused eagle shells to become too thin to protect the baby birds. Because of the eagle's national status, hunting the eagle was prohibited. So hunting was not reducing the population, but the use of some pesticides had the unintended effect of diminishing eagle populations. All right, hopefully you uh, enjoyed that patriotic music there. But, um, you know, they just mentioned the harm that it did to eagles. And, um, you know, a lot of times we learn from mistakes. What seems like a good idea, putting out chemicals to treat crops and, and get better crops, we have to be careful because sometimes that has unintended consequences. And that, that was the case with uh, this one, uh, DDT. All right, so uh, question, we'll run the simulation, see how you guys do. Uh, what happens to concentration of chemicals as they move up the food chain? All right, the correct answer was they increase. I can't get that to show there. All right. So, and I think we had talked about habitat. That's uh, where an organism lives. And um, so that really wraps things up. Um, so we're, we're to the point now where we're going to start reviewing. So I'll have you do a review paper and study mate and couple days here we'll we'll be having you take uh, your test all right we will talk to you later